So how do we make the immersed tunnel watertight? The three most critical components involved in ensuring immersed tunnels are watertight are the Gina gasket, the Omega seal and the water stop. The Gina gasket and Omega seal are used between the tunnel elements of immersed tunnels to prevent water ingress due to external water pressure. This combination not only allows for watertight sealing, but also for the transfer of hydrostatic loads and movements between the tunnel ends. Due to soil sediment, creep of concrete, temperature effects, and of course, seismic activity. The designs are generally based on the expected tunnel lifetime of 120 years. Water stops are used to accommodate water pressure as well as the natural movement between the individually poured concrete segments of an immersed tunnel. Also, immersed tunnel entrances, curtain cover tunnels, are often too long to be poured as one monolithic unit and therefore have a number of construction or dilatation joints. The type of water stop used depends on the water pressure and desired water tightness of these construction joints. To prevent leakages due to shrinkages or other causes, a special injectable water stop has been developed to provide absolute water tightness. The main focus of the water stop is to provide a durable solution because the gasket is irreplaceable over time. Tunnel elements are provided with temporary bulkheads at both ends to ensure that the tunnel element is watertight and capable of floating. On one end of each tunnel element, an endless piece of Gina gasket is mounted using bolted clamping strips. When the manufacturing process is complete, the dock is flooded and the elements floated. Each element is towed to its final position and then immersed. The immersed tunnel element is then pulled up against the preceding immersed element with hydraulic jacks. Initial contact of the Gina is accomplished using a low pulling force. When the Gina has full contact around the total circumference of the adjacent element, the water between the bulkheads is pumped out. Due to a pressure differential between the bulkheads and the hydrostatic pressure on the outside of the tunnel, the Gina profile compresses and the seals the joints. The Omega seal, which functions as a secondary seal, is then clamped across the joint on the inside of the tunnel, creating a physical connection between the tunnel elements. This process is crucial because it's extremely difficult to access the gasket once the tunnel is in use and it's difficult to know what the challenges of the environment will be. Clamping components are essential for making sure tunnels last for over 100 years. It's critical that we do not cut corners during construction, as this could prove more costly in the long term. In general, the bulkheads are removed after approval of the pressure tests between the Gina seal and the Omega gasket.